Peace, family. What's good? It's your man, Ocean. Welcome back to the Chieftain Network. Thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share my videos. As soon as you come in the room, I very much would appreciate that. Help me break the algorithm. Help me get up in it one time, one time for your mind. And I'm going to go straight in on this story right here that I got. It says, uh, it's about a, um, a situation at a school in New York. A young black student is having trouble out of her teacher. Cosmetology, it's a cosmetology class, and the teacher is telling her that she has ethnic hair and that her hair is not American and all of this stuff. And it may, if you, to the, to, to the misinformed ear or to, you know what I'm saying? If you're not privy to the way that this shit worked, then that may, may not even sound like a big thing for you that the teacher told her that she got ethnic, ethnic hair. But we live in a time where we don't get to play dumb anymore on situations like this. And the teacher knew exactly what she was doing. She was getting the young lady to question herself, question her looks, and question her American, being a being an American all together. So we gonna, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read this story, man. And I'm gonna, you know, break it down, bits and pieces as we go. But thank you for being here, definitely. Like, subscribe, share my videos, all right? says white teacher repeatedly called black girls hair ethnic the lawsuit says it says a white cosmetology cosmetology teacher in new york has been accused of making uh repeated racist remarks about a black student's hair according to cbs news a 17 year old student has filed a discrimination claim with new york state after the teacher continuously referred to her hair as ethnic during the cosmetology class in Sachem East High School. Sachem East High School, however you say that. Excuse me if I pronounced it wrong. The teacher suggests that the student hair wasn't American or normal, according to her mother. She said, uh, if my hair is ethnic hair, then, you know, what type of hair do you have? And she told the daughter uh, that she had American hair. She had normal hair. So, because, I don't see, I don't even want to like to be ugly on my video, bro, bro, because that the young black lady had whatever kind of hair that, you know, she, this so-called quote unquote cosmetology teacher that don't know, she don't know what to do with the young lady hair. So that make it, normal now you if you a uh, professional cosmetology teacher then you supposed to know what to do with all grades of hair i would think if you sit up in the front of the class per, per, portraying yourself as a master of the arts of doing people hair then you're supposed to have at least some type of small take on all versions of hair it don't matter if it's american hair or whatever kind of hair but the thing that I want to know is how could it not be American hair if the young lady is born and raised in America and her, you know what I'm saying, her roots and shit trade back to the killing fields of America. What's more American than your ancestors building this country on its back? I can't, I don't know what's more American than that. But uh, let me see, where, where will we be at? Oh, she said she had, the, she had normal hair. The mother, Cindy Covington, said she said uh, to her, well, you know, I'm American, too. That's, that's the little black girl telling the teacher, you know, I'm American, too. I agree. I'm fucking, she probably more American than you are, little white lady. Oh, little lady. She probably, um, she little white lady, fuck it. She probably more American than you. Uh, there are different textures of hair, Covington continued. I would love to know what is American hair. What is that? I really would love to know what is normal hair. I would love to know what normal hair is too because, you know what I'm saying, if you come from where I come from, then your hair ain't normal. But we're not going around casting that on people. We you Your hair can be normal and my hair can be normal. It's different hair. 
is different from what you used to, and that's why you don't, you know what I'm saying, you really don't deserve to be up there, because I guarantee you, this little girl right here, I will put my money on it, that if they was in a contest, and this little girl had to go head up against the teacher, both of them had to do a black person hair, and both of them had to do a, a white person hair, I guarantee you that the black girl will win two to fucking zero. I guarantee you whatever kind of hair that hair, uh, problem that they facing, I guarantee you the little black girl is more talented than that teacher is right now. So, I, you know, I really think that her comments come from a, a place of hate because you probably recognize the talent in that little girl. She that she doing shit that you had to go to school to figure out that to get an inkling of doing. She doing it out of her natural ability and that do something to you. So you want to, you know what I'm saying? You got to take her down a few notches. I, I would think that's what the problem is in this situation. You got to take her down a few notches because she thinks she's somebody because she can do hell better than me already. And I'm the teacher and I don't like that shit. Anyway, dumb ass people. The mother reported uh, the remarks to the principal multiple times, but nothing was done, of course, because they always going to uphold the, the, that position right there. That position of WS, most of the people in power, even if they look like me, they going to uphold it. And I don't think the principal look like me or nothing like that, but I'm just saying the people who been who in power, they been vetted for situations like this. So when situations like this occur, it ain't it's it's you know, they already know what playbook the the pull they the pull they moves from. They already know how they finna play it. They gonna side on the side of white supremacy every time. So, you know, of course he didn't do nothing. Of course the principal said, Oh, just took her little complaint and, and tucked it away. On the back burner and turned it on low, or either turned the whole fucking eye off. But look now, we got a lawsuit filed now. It says uh, the contrast to the American or normal, saying that they're non-American and non-normal. What does that mean? And number two, once the mo number two, uh, once the mom explains to the school for them to do nothing about it, and it happened again, implies that they were deliberately indifferent to her complaints the attorney uh andrew lib said i agree for them to just disregard the shit that she said like who gives a f what what you complaining about i'm gonna uphold this bullshit and we ain't even gonna even mention it to her and she get to come back to the classroom and even if we do mention it to her we're gonna uphold her and she gonna be to the point where she want to, you know, I'm petty now. I'm going to say it again to you, little girl. You call yourself telling on me, I'm going to show you. So she was going to show the little girl that I'm, I'm more powerful than you and I say what I want to say to you. She was going to show the little girl. So, yes, let's um crank this lawsuit action up. Let's get some sense. We can't get no, the, the principal to stand on anything that's similar to right. We're going to see, can we just go at the whole school system then? I agree totally. Let's see where we at, man. Oh, yeah, let's go. In the statement, the superintendent, Dr. Christopher uh, Palatary, yeah, he sounded like he on that bullshit, said the district is reviewing the alleged complaint. Of course, now y'all reviewing it. Y'all should have been reviewing it when the lady brought it to you, though. You want to review it when you come on the fire for it. You should have been, you should have nipped this in the bud back then. Yeah, we know you ain't going to fight a lady, but you could have told her, hey, little lady. If you do that shit again, now that's going to be yo. Maybe you did tell her I doubt it. Because she felt, you know what I'm saying? She felt so inclined, inclinated, I would like to say. She felt so inclinated to this. She went straight back and said the shit again to the to the little girl. Come on, man. But she ain't know the little girl, you know what I'm saying? Had a, 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 See, that's one thing about it. A, a good black parent, a good a good parent in general, it ain't even got to be a good black. You ain't going to just, you ain't just going to do my baby any kind of way. And we, just, you know what I'm saying? We're going to investigate this shit now. I know I don't, I, just like me as a parent, I don't put shit past my son. 
But still, just I'm not gonna just take no teacher word just because he a teacher or no principal, and I know that they operate from a playbook of white supremacy. Hell no, nah. we gonna hear what the fuck my son got to say about this shit, and I'm gonna use my fucking context clues to see if I believe him or not, and I'm gonna take his word before I take your word. So I imagine this, you know, what I'm saying this, this the parent, Miss Covington, she operating from the same, you know, what I'm saying viewpoint that. I take my baby serious, way more serious than I take y'all motherfuckers, so we're going to see about this shit. Covenant said the teacher claimed that the term ethnic hair is used as in cosmetology. I don't, I don't believe that. The, uh, there's coarse hair. There's thin hair, Lib said. <clears throat> A family is seeking an apology, sensitivity training, and legal damages in the suit. She felt like she was an outcast in the classroom. She felt uncomfortable. She wanted to leave the class. She started asking to wear wigs. So that's, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the point that I was trying to make earlier. You getting, you, you pushing an idea on her that the way that she look isn't sufficient to be successful in this world. You telling her that she not normal and she need to do something to her appearance and doctor herself up so that she can be accepted in, you know what I'm saying, you as a person in leadership, as a person that's supposed to be in guidance, that's not the type of message that you're supposed to be pushing to this young lady. You're supposed to be pushing a message to this young lady that if you do things correctly and handle your business, then your hair definitely should be the last thing that holds you back and, and moving forward in the world. But that ain't your message. Your message is... Um, you inferior the way you look right now, and I'm superior the way that I look right now. So we not going for that. I, I I commend the lady. I commend the young lady for being brave enough to go home and tell her mama. And I commend the mama for saying, "Hell no, nah, you ain't gonna play with my baby like that." Thank you, mama, for saying that. Hell no, nah, you not playing with my baby like that. Somebody else, baby, maybe you can play with them like that, but you not going to play with my baby like that. I commend that mama. And I hope the daddy will, you know what I'm saying, show their face on the scene too, but I ain't, you know, of course. Anyway, I ain't even going to do the article like that because the article is telling me good shit. But I don't see no mention of the father. I'm gonna, I will say that. She felt like she was an out, outcast. Yeah, I read that again. She felt like she was an outcast in the classroom. She felt uncomfortable. She wanted to leave the class, and she started to want it to constantly wear wigs. She was constantly asking to get her hair straightened, Covington said of her daughter. And that ain't who the young lady was. The young lady was confident in who she was and her appearance before the fucking teacher decided that she wanted to take that away from her because of Whatever she was feeling, jealousy, or like I said, probably possibly the young girl is more talented in her pinky finger than the teacher ever could be in her whole fucking life, and she recognized it. But for whatever the reason was, she wanted to take that young lady's confidence and her morale down a bit, so that's what the fuck she decided that she was going to do. And it's wild shit, man. That's wild, man, that we still living in a time where we, well, and it ain't even just, you know, it ain't even just people of the, of, the, of the opposite society, the dominant society to do this. This is something that we do in general. When we see a young person coming up that's doing shit in a more productive way than we ever could, imagine the way that we could do it. A lot of us hate that, man. A lot of us are scared to, you know what I'm saying? Move out the way and let the youth take over or not necessarily take over. But if they coming along and making improvements, we we hating on the improvements to the, to society that they make because we didn't think to make them or we weren't confident enough to make them when we were young enough. And that's bullshit within itself. I got a saying that I live by. And you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I'm the only person that I ever heard say this unless somebody heard me say it before. So I'm going to try to go ahead. I'm just going to take 100% credit for this statement, even though I'm sure somebody done said it. Oh, a great philosopher or somebody done said this shit. But you're never too young to teach and you're never too old to learn, man. 
as of now, I'm the only person that I know to say that shit. But anyway, let's see how much more of this, of this article is left. I'm about ready to wrap it up. It says, according to CBS News, New York Crown Act equates hair discrimination with race discrimination. Of course, because it's the same fucking thing. Because nine times out of ten, if they hang on you about your hair, it's because you got the hair of a black person, of a black queen or, or king. It says uh, the state's division of human rights will investigate the complaint and decide whether to mediate a resolution or take it to trial. The Black Information Network is your source. Okay, the Black Information Network. I wonder, can I subscribe to them so I can get more study? I'm going to try. Oh, yeah, I can follow them. Okay, that was nice. That was a good story right there. I'm, and I got to the end of it. And, you know, that was just some wild shit. It's, 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 it's wild that she wanted, you know, and I think I really, I think I covered everything about it and, and my reasoning for her coming at that young black lady like that because she ain't got, she ain't the little girl more talented than she is. That was a simple case of, Damn, you so much better than me, but I've been doing this shit for 35 years and you ain't been living with number 17 years and you just better than me. So I got to say something. I don't like you. I don't like you for the simple fact that you better than me. And I'm going to say something because right now I got more power than you and what, what better time to use your power than when you got it? Because one day you'll be way more powerful than me, little girl, and I won't be able to do nothing but look up to you and, and hate you from down below. So that was just that situation right there. But anyway, it's your boy, man. Ocean, this is the Chieftain Network. Thank you for tuning in to my shit, man. If you made it this far, without a doubt, go ahead and like, subscribe, share my video, man. Like, subscribe, share my shit, man. And, and comment on my shit, man. Let me know how you be feeling. You ain't got to uh, agree with my shit. But if you do agree with me, let me know. If you don't agree with me, let me know, man. Just let me know what type of st share stories with me, all that type of shit, bro. And if I can get to it, I, I plan on trying to get to every if I just, you know, I want to know what the people are appreciate about my channel so I can do more of that. That's basically what I'm trying to figure out when I ask you to share shit with me. I know I got the work. I got to do the work. I ain't tripping out doing the work, but I just, you know, I want to know. I want I want the feedback. The feedback, you know, feedback is and and it, and and where I'm where I'm at in life, feedback equal motivation. You feel me? So give me the feedback. Anyway, I appreciate y'all, man. Come back again. We'll do this shit again. Your boy is out.